Thanks for watching and here's an amazing trick that will save you linear algebra grade. It has been recommended to me by my friend Mikhail Kosters who works at Google. So trust me, it works. Here's a trick. Suppose you have the following system. Usually the way it's done is by using Gaussian elimination which involves a lot of fractions and hence a lot of algebra mistakes. The method I'll present today is completely elementary and avoids the use of any fractions. So, the way it starts is the same thing. Let's try to rewrite this system in terms of a matrix. Now, just like usual, first you rewrite the system in terms of the matrix by just gathering the coefficient, and then you keep the first row as it is, 2, 1, 4, 5, and then directly anything below the two you make everything zero. And the question is what do you put for the remaining entries? So here's a cool trick. So keep this two and three and then just take the determinant of two one three minus one which I believe becomes minus five and then you ignore the second column and take the determinant of two four three two because again you keep the 2, 3 and that becomes 4 minus 12 and that's minus 8 and then you continue so you keep the 2, 3 but take the determinant of 2, 5, 3, 2 so 4 minus 15 that is minus 11 and then since you're done with the second row you just delete it and then you just rinse and repeat so you keep this 2, 4 and now take the determinant of 2, 1, 4, 3, so 6 minus 4, that is 2. And then you take the determinant of 2, 4, 4, 4, so 8 minus 16, that's minus 8. And lastly, 2, 5, 4, 8, and that is 16 minus 20, which I believe is minus 4. And then, just like Gaussian elimination, of course, feel free to simplify things. Like here, you can divide by minus 1, and here you can divide by 2, which gives you 2, 1, 4, 5, and then 0, 5, 8, 11, and 0, 1, minus 4, minus 2. In question, how many fractions are there? None whatsoever, which is why this technique is really awesome. And of course, since this was so great, let's just continue. So let's do 2, 1, 4, 5, 5, and then keep the second row, 0, 5, 8, 11. And then the stuff below the 5, you make it 0, so 0, 0. But then the question is, what do you put for the next entries? Well, keep this 5, 1 and take the determinant of the rest. So minus 20, minus 8, that is minus 28. And then forget the second column and just do 5, 11, 1, minus 2. So minus 10, minus 11, that is minus 21. And then the awesome thing is you can simplify this, so divide this by minus 7, and you end up getting 2, 1, 4, 5, 0, 5, 8, 11, and then 0, 0, um, 4, and 3. And you see, much easier, no fractions whatsoever. Now, uh, at this point, it's uh, up to you. You could either do back substitution, which I personally recommend, you see why, or you can actually same, use the same technique to even do back substitution, which is also very great. So let me just rewrite this. Now, for the back substitution, similar to before, first of all, you keep the last row, 0, 0, 4, 3. And then everything above this 4, you turn it into 0. So 0, 0. And the question is, what happens to the entries to the left of 4? And what happens to the entries to the right of 4? Well, to the left is actually surprisingly easier. So you take this 4 and multiply all the entries by minus 4. 
So a thing minus like back substitution. So uh, 2 times 4, that's 8. So minus 8. And then uh, 4 times 1, that's 4. So minus 4. Uh, 4 times 0, that's 0. And then 4 times 5, that's minus 20. So with the minus. I know it's weird, but that's the way it is. And that's why at this step I do recommend just direct back substitution. But still, it is very neat. And then for the right, now it's the same as before. So you keep this 4, 8, 4. And you take the determinant of the rest. So 8 times 3, that's 24 minus 44. And that becomes minus 20. And now, since you're done with the second row, you delete it. And then you take the determinant of uh, 4, 5, 4, 3. So 12 minus 20, and that's minus 8. Okay, so. So again, just to repeat, for this 4, you multiply everything by minus 4 and everything to the right. You do the usual determinant trick. And of course, here you can definitely clean things up. So you can divide this by minus 4 and you can divide this by minus 20. And I believe you get simply um, 2, 1, 0, 2, 0, 1, 0, 1, and 0, 0, 4, 3. And now notice, you are done with the second and third rows. So you get 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 4, 3. And now, just as usual, of course here it is easier to just do the, um, back the, the subtract the second row directly, but just to illustrate the method again. So this 1, you turn it into 0. And then here you do 1 times 2, but with a minus, so minus 2, 0. And for the rest, you just take the determinant. So 1 times 1 minus 1 times 2, that becomes minus 1. Now, I don't know if you noticed or did not notice. So far, there wasn't a single fraction, which is what makes this method beautiful. And now, for the first time in history, fractions will appear because now we can literally directly solve for x, y, and z, and you get 1, 0, 0, 1 half, 0, 1, 0, 1, and then 0, 0, 1, 3 quarters which therefore gives you the solutions x equals one half, y equals one, and z equals three quarters. Wow, all right. I'm sure Gauss would be proud at this point. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.